Hello and what's up everybody, this is Peek from Speed Academy and in this video we will be seeing what is Tom Tree, how it works, what are its type and it's what actually a good Tom Tree is. So if I talk about the document, it's the Tom Tree full form in your document object model. So if I just go by word by word then you can say that we have three words over here. First is your document, second is your object and third one is your model. So first we got we can with the, your object. So if I discuss about your document, sorry. So first we use your document. So document. Nice to are familiar with the document. Means any any kind of file is known as your document. Either the file can be of your HTML document or your PDF, Word, Excel, or any type of file is named as your document a file. Okay. So this is all about your document. Next we have the object. So guys, you can see in this uh, implementation in the flowchart, uh, the DOM tree is over here. So you can see that we have some objects, the doc type, HTML, head, body. Means the tag inside of a document is known as the object. And if I discuss about the model, then we load this object inside a web browser, then the DOM tree is created and we call it as DOM object model, my document object model, sorry. So this is what a doc, DOM tree is. And inside of DOM, and one more thing guys about the DOM tree is that we have nodes inside of it. Means I can say that we have one node, this is a document node, doc type node, HTML node, body node, head node. Means any, means any object this can be called as a node in the HTML DOM tree. Okay. And if I talk about the document, means to, let me just wait a second. If I talk about the document object model. Then the doc, document object presents the whole document when the HTML document is loaded. The same thing I just uh, tell you in this one so means whenever the file is when the HTML file is loaded on a web browser, the HTML DOM tree is being created and loaded on the web browser. You can say it becomes a DOM object. Okay. And secondly, we I as I told about you. Okay, let me just show you with the help of an example. Let me just put another visual suit code and I will be show you. Uh, Okay, next we just wait. Uh, create a dummy file over here. Okay, that's being created or something like what is right? DOM. Okay, sorry. It's created. It's created. So if I uh, go in my document file. Okay, so if I go in my HTML file and I put the exclamation mark and press the enter here and hold up. Okay, let me zoom it out for you guys a little bit. Okay, it will be more clear for you. Okay, fine. So you can see now the code of now the you can see my code guys, I guess. It will be visible to you all, I guess. And here you can see that I have a doc doc type, means the doc type HTML. So this is what we call as your document. Means uh, if this is the HTML file is now you can be called as a document file because we put a doc type in here. And that's why we can uh, say that we are working with a document object and we have a doc type of HTML. So if I just go in my this implementation back and you can see over here we have a doc type and the HTML and the whole whole this, this whole word is called as a doc. Uh, DOM tree means when the, this code is going to be updated on the web browser, means when I will, we load a file, means if I just click over it, like open with live server, then my whole object is now being converted into the DOM tree. It won't be visible to you, but if you come over here, means there might be some extension, I just forgot the name of the extension. So there is an extension in the Chrome browser for seeing the DOM tree means you can just install the extension and you can see the each and every node of your DOM object. I just forget the name I will mention it and I soon remember it because I just don't work with it a oh, while. Wow. I just directly work with the DOM so I just don't remember it. And now if I again back to the flow chart and you can see that I have a HTML and instead of HTML I had a body tag, you all are familiar with it. And I'm just discussing about the document object. So what you can see that we have a doc document and we call this document as your root element because it is the parent element of all of these 
smaller tag inside of it. You can see the laptop type or the HTML or body, whatever the tag you call it. The, all of the tags are inside of your document, so we can call the document as a root element and it has certain properties and method which represents the HTML document. And you can see by the help of the HTML document object, we can add dynamic content to a web page. And now what dynamic means, guys, you, uh, previously we are working with the console log, means previously we are working with the JavaScript and we are uh, showing our output in the console log because the console log is very, very useful when we are debugging our code. And there's not, there's not an efficient way we just directly work with the top objects for finding an error. So uh, our developers created a console for debugging our HTML or any type of code in our web browser. So that's why the console it is necessary for us to deal with it. So uh, as in my previous video, I just deal with the console only. You all of them deal with it. Now, if I just talk about the one more example, and I just go back to my image. Okay, this is my image. And you can see I have a HTML means I have written some line of code over here means I just downloaded this image from the net so you can just go in. But for example, you can see over here that I have a doc type means a document over here. This is my HTML document and inside of my HTML document I have one table. And instead of table, I have table body, table rows, and table columns. Just like that, you can see also the sheet, see the output over here. Yes, I just zoomed it for you, then you can see the output over here also. And I have done some styling and just like that. So if I take a look at the DOM view, over here, you can see the root, the, the root element is our document, then we have the HT, sorry, HTML over here, then we have head, body, and then Instead of a head, we have the title, or we can just give any text instead of the title. So we have the DOM sample over here. So you can see I have mentioned it. So image instead of this image has already mentioned the DOM sample is over here. And we have some styles, so the table style is mentioned over here. And similarly, if I go inside of a body, then we find a table and it's table body and a table text. I will not know about it. But what if I want to access any of our movies? Uh, guys, if I just want to access my image, or if I want to access this dev over here, or the S2 over here, then how can I access? Me? Without DOM, it can't be possible for me to make any changes in the image or the S2 or the div tag over here. So that's why the DOM comes in the action. So you can see the DOM is an API to your HTML to JavaScript. Means a DOM is an intermediary between the HTML and JavaScript, which helps you to make the content more interactive, more dynamic, so the user can find it more efficiently useful for it. So I can say that now I if I want to use the image, I want to target my image or the H2 element, I can just directly use the document object or the, some of the document script command and I can just directly target any of the elements. That will be discussing in the next video. So as for now I hope you guys are now more good familiar with the your DOM object and the DOM tree. So